In a game that keeps many things close to its chest, it's no surprise there are things in the world of DayZ some people may not know about, but here I'm going to tell you a bunch of them and hope another larger YouTuber doesn't steal my content and pass it off as their own. Not that that's ever happened. <clears throat> if you liked the video, please leave a like or a subscribe, it really helps me out. But without further ado, let's get into the video. And this is what happens when the cows come home to roost. I might mean chickens. The first one is basic, but kind of focuses on a very neglected feature we have. If you don't have a scope, but want to take someone out long range, you can use tracer rounds. Tracer rounds in Daisy are brilliant. And what tracer rounds do is they basically show you exactly where the bullet lands with an explosion. You can use them to estimate your aim if you're trying to take someone out, if it's too far, if it's too close. Attach a silencer and then just go to town. And it's super useful if you don't have things like a range finder or a scope that can tell you the distance. At present, ammo state has no effect on whether or not your gun will jam. Your weight can affect movement inertia, meaning wetness can slow you down. You can use a fireplace as storage if you don't have a barrel. Fireplaces, if you don't add any stones, can last up to two days, which makes for great temporary storage if you're setting up a base and you need to get out but leave some supplies behind. You can put that two days up to seven by adding a stone ring. You can use bushes to hide from the infected. Pretty much all you need to know. Just be careful because it's not foolproof, but at the same time, I use it to navigate around certain areas and it's an extremely useful thing to know. You can now stealth kill zombies with a cleaver the Mark II can cause a bleeding effect. This is great. You are more likely to cause bleeding if you use this gun than some others. Some guns have little features like this to them. This is particularly useful because it's one of the first guns you find and even if you don't kill somebody with it, you know they're going to have to run away somewhere to bandage. Placing bombs next to each other can cause a chain reaction, making for a pretty decent perimeter defense. Improvised explosives will despawn after five days, but you can reset this by placing them under a flag. The cattle prod is still in the game files. The animations are removed, but it's still in the game files if the server owners unlock it. You can not only dismantle crates, but you can also repair them using some planks. You can bury things in water by standing on the solid ground. Now this doesn't look very good, but you can make some really decent traps with them. You can pretty much climb anywhere. The thing is, people know you can climb, but nobody ever does it, and it's like it can put you in some really strategically advantageous positions, so it's definitely a utilizable thing to know. However, just keep in mind that you do sky Line if you're on top of a building like I am here and you will be shot and killed and it will be entirely your fault and to learn a bunch of things I'm pretty certain you probably won't know click here or for 200 tips and tricks click here and as always until next time